Hello and welcome to Tom's Toolbox. I'm your host, Tom Clark, and today we're going to introduce the brand new type 24A 60P planetary gear motors from Bodine Electric Company. And then we're going to show you how easy it is to connect them to a typical DC motor speed control. Now, a planetary gearhead is comprised of a sun gear, a ring gear, and a planet carrier assembly that holds three to five planet gears. Now, compared to other parallel shaft gear motors, these planetary gear motors provide some important performance advantages. For example, they can produce up to twice the torque of conventional helical spur gear motors of similar size. Now, because of the unique construction of these gear heads, the output shaft delivers very precise motion with lower backlash than conventional parallel shaft gear motors. These new permanent magnet DC gear motors are also rated IP66, meaning the motor is protected from dust ingress and heavy water jets. Now, this additional mounting flange, as you can see right here, is required to seal the drive shaft end to IP66. Uh, planetary gear motors are particularly well suited for applications such as conveyors, pumps, packaging, and industrial automation equipment. Okay, enough with all the technical talk. It's time to talk the walk, or is it walk the talk? Uh, anyway, I'm gonna do this because it just takes a few simple steps. We'll connect these permanent magnet DC gear motors to a DC motor speed control from Bodine. But before we start, you know as well as I do, safety is always priority number one. So I'm gonna put on the appropriate PPE, and you should do the same for whatever the job calls for. All right, now this drive system shows a Bodine model 0794 NEMA 1 enclosed speed control that operates from 115 volts AC and provides 0 to 130 volts DC to the gear motor. Now, we've already removed the control cover from our model 0794 to expose the location of the electrical connections. We simply connect the gear motor to the control by connecting the positive white wire right here. That's gonna go to the A2 terminal on the control the black negative wire to the A1 terminal, and then the green, of course, is your ground. That goes to the ground terminal. All right, we're good to go there. We can now apply power to the control. Now, once the control has power, we're gonna turn on the power switch to provide power to the gear motor. As you can see, the orange light is on and we have power. Now the speed pot on the front of the control will be used to set the gear motor output speed to the desired value. So I'm gonna go forward, you can see, real slow. Maybe if I wanna go a little faster, I can turn it all the way up. Now also if I would like, I can go reverse. Depends on what you need it for. Now, our second unit is a model 0789. That's gonna be a chassis type 24 volt DC control providing zero to 24 volts DC to a low voltage gear motor. Now, low voltage controls and gear motors are ideal for battery or solar powered applications. And the connections are just as simple. You got two power leads plus a ground and a 24 volt DC power from the power supply. And that's all there is to it. Now, if your project needs higher torque than conventional helical spur gear heads can provide, or if you're looking for lower backlash in a compact package, a Bodine planetary gear motor may be the right choice for you. Well, that's gonna do it for this edition of Tom's Toolbox. Hope you enjoyed it. Be sure to check out more videos on mihowto.com with me, Tom Clark, as your host. Thanks for watching.